Stephanie and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlogmas video. Today I'm going to do the Christmas song book tag and this is quite an old book tag. It was originally done by Haley in Bookland and I'll link her original video down below. I haven't seen this one go around in a while and I thought it would be so much fun to do so let's just jump right in. So for each prompt there is a Christmas song and there are 10 prompts. So number one is your mean one Mr. Grinch. Name a villainous character you couldn't help but love. I ended up going with Cersei from the book by Madeline Miller and I chose her because while she is the main protagonist and I can understand kind of why she did the things she did. She still did some horrible things to people, no matter how justified it was, but I still love Cersei as a character, so that's why I chose this one. All I want for Christmas is you. Name a book that you most hope to see under your Christmas tree, and for that I had to go with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Illustrated Edition. I have the first three books and they're absolutely stunning, so I definitely want to add that one to my collection. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, name a character that overcomes obstacles and learns to believe in themselves. And for that, I had to go with Star Carter from The Hate You Give. She definitely learns that she has a voice in this book and that she can bring about change. Santa Claus is coming to town. First part, which character do you think would be at the top of the naughty list? And for this one, I had to go with Naughty John from The Diviners. He is not a great character. He is pretty much the embodiment of evil, so he is the most logical choice. And on the flip side, which character do you think would be at the top of the nice list? And for that, I had to go with Laura Jean from To All the Boys I've Loved Before. She is the sweetest, most genuine, thoughtful character. So innocent, and she would be perfect for the top of the nice list. Frosty the Snowman, which book just melts your heart? And for that, I had to go with the children's book Escargot, which is about a French snail. And I've read this book, I don't know how many times, it's so stinking cute, and it just makes me so happy every time I read it. <laughs> Feliz Navidad, choose a book that takes place in a country other than your own. For that I chose The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetis. If you want to know more about this book, I do have a book review that I'll link. But this book takes place mainly in Spain, in the days of General Francisco Franco. The most wonderful time of the year, which holiday themed book do you use to spread the Christmas joy? And for that I chose The Polar Express by Chris Van Alsberg. This is a classic in my opinion and it's just so magical and heartwarming and wonderful and I think it really embodies what we want out of Christmas and I love it absolutely love it next is sleigh ride which fictional character would you choose to spend the holidays with and it does not have to be a love interest it can just be a friend and for that I chose Alex Claremont Diaz from red white and royal blue I love his family they are so sarcastic and so witty and I just think after reading about Turkey Gate in this book that any holiday spent with them would be hilarious. So I had to go with this family. Baby It's Cold Outside. Which book that you didn't like would you sacrifice to a fire to warm yourself up in the cold? Um, no shame, it'd be The Dark Between Stars. I absolutely hated that book. I think it's the worst book I read this year. I'm sorry if that's your favorite. I just did not like it at all. So. And finally, do you hear what I hear? Which book do you think everyone should read? And for that, I chose There's Something About Sweetie by Sandia Menon. 
And I've read this book three times this year, and I do have a book review I'll link. But I think this is such a sweet, heartwarming book that has a lot of good rep in it. It's got POC protagonists and fat girl rep and accepting people for who they are and not judging a book by its cover. And so many awesome things in this lighthearted novel. And I just want everyone to read it and love Sweetie just like I do. <laughs> so that is the end of the prompts. And I'm going to tag Cheyenne from The Book Mermaid, Allie from Allie Gray's Story, Jurassic Reads, Kat from Rustic Pages, and Alyssa from Pages and in Ink. And also, if you're watching, consider yourself tagged. And if you end up doing this tag, please let me know, send me a link, comment down below. I would love to watch all your videos. As always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.